All right, this is April 4th. Speed scale. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the provider change. Anything to point out, Alay? Uh, no, I don't think we have enough data on it. Yeah. Oh, good. So they, uh, so the the C the CI team automatically bumped this up to the the latest version when they released it. It looks like. Uh, no, we had to submit a PR for it, but. Um, I have added a note for future. Um, they should be able to just automatically do this. Yeah, because I'm assuming it's happening for the other jobs. I mean, I I can see it. So we just need to get into the mix. Maybe it's like some sort of script they use. Yeah, yeah. we just have to um uh, change the the version on our jobs and this will happen automatically. So yeah, I've I've added a note in there. I, I don't believe it's a script, it's um, manual things. Um, and having a note in there will help whoever is working on it. Okay. All right, anything else to say about this? Um, yeah, one thing, so if you go, um, look at the P50 creation to running. Um, so if you see every day, there is one observation which exactly happens at 15 and it does not have any fraction. Um, yeah, that one. Every day, one dot on that 15 line. Um, yeah, oh. I'm and spending a little bit of time understanding why it is like exact 15, not 0.1 or 0.2 off, whether it's correct or wrong. Um, yeah, I've not found anything. I'll let you know if I find anything. But yeah, okay. I, I was becoming a little uh, suspicious because of all the monitoring changes that are going in that we are losing some data on that. Okay. All right, yeah, we'll see. I, It's weird because of the way we do it. There's some extrapolation, which makes it an estimate, but there, it's reasonable to see that there's um, some sort of fractions since we have so many so many different variations here. So yeah, it's, let's see. Let's so see in, your, in your past experience, um, when we did not have this tool, do you recall if those were fractions or whole numbers? Um, like a year from now? Yeah, sorry, year uh, in the past. We can look, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I don't remember the specific, okay. some of the specific data points. Yeah. I mean, I do we have any links to that old stuff? How long has it kept around for? Uh, so the 127 is, we have data till September 23 on the 127 link. And then on the 125, yeah, 125 we have Jan 2023. Uh, I can send you the link uh, on the Zoom chat. Yeah. There you go. Um, the link is for the VM, but you can change it to VMI in the URL. Yeah, I mean, there's some fractions. I'll see some 15 here, and here's another 15. 
this was before the metric changes right here is like here's a 15. We do yeah. see some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then this is, yeah, I should not spend more time on it. This is fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's go to Q County. So I think um, a few things I took away for us um, with regards to some of our scale efforts, I think some things we should take a look at um, uh, are just some based on some feedback and discussion. So we've got, there was um, someone from, the um, working on, uh, I don't know if it's a network team or if it's someone um, who's looking at like OVS or something. I didn't, I didn't fully understand what the background was, but there was an interest in, um, there were, I guess there was a question asked to me about how, how we measure, or if we measure scalability performance over, um, uh, for, over the network for a virtual machine. Uh, and we don't have that today, but that was something that, um, this person had, had considered, or I, I pointed them to come to Scoot Six Scale, and we can talk about it. So, I think um, you know maybe we'll have that discussion at some point. But that's something I, I know we've been talking about, and you know, we have talked about in the past, and something that we can look at because um, we haven't really broken into the actual VM layer and gone into the the, the different pieces and measuring some of those some of those components so i we could something we could look at too that just mention that as something that there was interest for yeah definitely um and then some some other stuff and you were in these discussions when we talked to um the six scale guys. I think um, we should do like we we'll, we can pick a time. Let's follow up with um, with them. And um, I think the two things that we want to do is um, we'll have to um, we should get Lubo to join us. We need to let's talk about with them the um, the uh, the changes in, in Kubernetes from one twenty five. So one twenty five to and 27 performance. Uh, let's talk about that and maybe we can um, get some idea as to what happened. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think we still don't really know the answer to this and maybe they've got some ideas. And then um, the other one's the... Uh, uh, one thing before you move thing. forward. Yeah. Uh, for 125 to 127, I think the upstream dashboard as in kubernetes uh dashboard for 125 is gone um it was around when we switched providers six months back but it's not there anymore so we might be out of data to talk that's fine i think what i at least what to do on this one it would just be good to know in this time frame if there was any if people have any ideas to, because you, you can see by the data, right, that we have tighter groupings, right? Something changed that would cause tighter groupings. Um, so more consistent pods, so more con a more consistent uh, performance for, for pods. So maybe they have an idea off the top of their head as to what this would be, what change this was. That would be interesting. And I mean, if we don't know, if we can't find that out, that's fine. But it would be interesting to see because maybe there's something we can learn that we just haven't realized. You know, maybe it wasn't picked up. And like, it's also possible, too, this was not observed in those dashboards, too. So uh, we, no, actually, we we had a discussion around it in this call. Um, we, we, sh we should be able to find the recording. But uh, the, the observation was correlated, as in, whatever we saw in our dashboard was exactly uh, visible in their dashboard as well. But was it to the same, like, but the, did we observe it? So I, I did remember the, some of that discussion, but what I, what I didn't remember is that our conclusion was that we could see the consistency. Like we didn't, 
like we could saw that there was some sort of performance change, but the tighter groupings. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, I do recall we had tighter grouping. So the way I recall it in their dashboard is that um, they have uh, P50, P95, and P99, right? Um, spread across, um, which are the height of the charts. And the, the height of that chart was um, narrowing as you go to 127. So that was my takeaway that the consistency is improving, uh, but it was not as evident as in our charts. Um, it could be the number of pods that could also be. So I guess what it could be is that the number of the consistency has been pushed um, farther out, meaning like the more, if you do a hundred pods, you get very consistent results. But if you do a thousand, you get less consistent. That could be like, I. That that's kind of what I was wondering. It's like, cause I don't know what the, the makeup of their test is, but I probably larger than 100. Yeah, definitely. So that, and that could be what is at least driving us to come to different conclusions on this. So that that would be interesting. Like that's that's what I mean. Is I think there's some nuance that maybe we can get from this and this discussion that would be interesting to, to hear. Yeah. And I think we, we do have some um, research work on our side to do as well. Um, <clears throat> the discussion around how to best uh, get the metrics from Kubelet regarding the network attachment, storage attachment, whether we want it. So the, the biggest question is, does it have to be phase transition or can we get it through uh, some other uh, metric? Yeah, yeah, that was the other one, um, right, that needs to be here. So. Yeah. yeah, you can you can tag me on this. I'll try to get uh, I'll try to look at it and you know get some pointers. Okay. All right. Now the last one's clock um testing uh and um good mark testing. So I think what would be good here is that I we we like Lubo has already done the research on this. We've already had this really good discussion about this. And, and about the value of each of these frameworks. And um, what's interesting is what, like what, what does QMark provide? What does Clock provide? And I think what would be really good is I think to take, let's take this discussion and let's go and talk about it again with um, the OS6 scale. I think um, because we've done the research, I think it is useful to at least have this discussion and present the possibility of or at least talk about what we're going to do or what we'd like to do in Qvert. And because I think it could be done in six scale and maybe we can help with that too. Yeah. So um, I have some more um, thoughts that are related in, in the same discussion. So there was a point made about um, DRA and uh, lack of perfect scale measurement of that. And we could potentially use Quark and Cubemark to also test um, DRA and integrate it in, in their um, say scale testing. And, and the way that will be helpful to Cubebird is that whenever we develop a Cubebird a plugin for it um, and we use it in Cubebird, we'll by default get um, those perfect scale measurements already set up so, so we can compare and contrast uh, things like we do with the pods. Okay. Yes, this one's a good one. Let's we'll hold on to this for a little bit. We're gonna need to, we're not gonna be able to do this one until we get a little further with our, because DRA needs is only getting, it's, it's still gonna be alpha in 130, even with the unstructured param. So we're gonna need, we still are gonna need some time to go by. We're gonna need to develop this 
plug in and then i mean dra hopefully can get to beta I, there's going to be some i guess what i'm trying to say is that we're well, there's going to be some things that we need to fall into place before we can get to this one but we should hold on to it it's a good one so, so um yeah i had thoughts regarding that so for if we are able to integrate POC testing uh, then we might not need the device plugin uh, anyway, right? So what, what I'm thinking is that whatever the per node device plugin actions are, you can simulate that uh, into Quark, get your per node results. So you, you're not dependent on any uh, driver or any particular implementation of uh, allocations. But at the same time, the control plane components of DRA, which is um, scheduler and the API, those can be uh, scale tested starting now. So any uh, performance improvements or um, regressions from alpha beta can be um, caught. Uh, and then whenever we are ready with the device plugin um, thing later on, um, we can take that on after okay. yeah um, we yeah, still no, no. We do we still need a driver? We still would need a driver to serve this though. There might be an example we can use. I think that's what you're thinking of here. I think Kevin's got one. Maybe we can just want to attach things to pods. Well, in case of coax, those pods will be just uh, simulated, right? So it, all of that driver uh, interact. We'd still, we'd still need, a, so you need a quark driver or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. And because Quark supports uh, arbitrary CRDs right now, we would be able to get that easily without writing code for it, I think. I, I mean, that's my thought process. I don't know. I, I need to go explore a um, little bit more to confirm. All right. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, right, I mean, makes sense. this is a whole separate discussion, but this particular thing could, could aid why we should look at Quark and Kubemark in uh, Kubernetes 6 scale. So like we are proposing this and we are giving a specific use case that this is how we could use um, and I think that will reinforce our discussions much better. So let's see how it goes. All right. All right, we'll see what comes out of that. Okay. All right, this is good. I think we've got, there's gonna be plenty here that at least will keep us busy in the short term. So I think we'll get to, I mean, let's try and plan to get to some of these, like the these discussions um, in like the next month or so while we still have this in our minds. And then this one, um, whenever we can catch Fubo, we'll, we'll bring this up. Yeah. All right. So for next, um, we have this issue tracking some of what we'd like to do. Uh, we didn't make one two for this, so I'm gonna move these to one three. Yeah. So we'll have to, I think probably these two was trying to get to in one three and then, yeah, some of the other things here are the other points that I was raised at KubeCon, right? So some of the internal metrics of the heart monitor and some of those details. So what I'll do is I'll move this to one three and then we'll put this as like something later to yeah. do later. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so during KubeCon, I had a discussion of how to uh, fix the first issue. Uh, 
install quark during make cluster sync. Okay. Uh, so the direction that was given is that um, we should not put the manifest in in kubeword kubeword. Instead, this should go in kubeword slash kubeword CI. That's where most of the manifests are. From there, it builds the builder image. And whenever you make uh, you run make cluster sync, that builder image uh, comes in and installs um, stuff for you. So we'll have to do that indirectly so that the manifests are um, uh, living in a separate repo, which is different from Kubernetes. Okay. All right, good. So we've got a direction there. Okay, how about this one? Um, that one is after the first one completes. First one has the plumbing for it. Um, can't get to it. Can't do the second one without first. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. So all right, looks like then we've got. Well, looks like they're unblocked then. Good. Cool. All right. I think. If there's anything else, Lay, do you got anything else? Any other topics? Uh, no, this is good. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Wonderful. Then. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Ryan. Bye. All right. Bye bye.